Right, so this is two days after the last video I made um, on the white spot that's in my tank. As you can see, it's starting to um, really get into plate proportions. Uh, the Vermini tank is absolutely smothered now. And you can see um, the breathing has really started to accelerate. Um, the South End tank, Interestingly, the, the uh, parasites that take its side have come out in, in different colours rather than white spots. I'm sure there are white spots underneath. Uh, a scopes tank, no change. Has it, doesn't look worse for wear for it. Um, the angelfish, now you can see uh, some dots on the, the black of it. Um, under blues, these dots come out quite a lot. The rabbit fish has got quite quite a lot on its flanks now. The yellow tang has got it, as I say, under blues it shows up. In the normal lights it doesn't so much. Um, the purple tang, no change interestingly. Um, so it takes a little bit of a beating from the others at the moment. Um, but it is out and swimming around, which is a plus. Uh, both butterflies have, if I can find them, have now quite a lot of white spots on them. This one that didn't show any signs has now um, got quite a light. It is a, a light colour, so it's hard to see on it. Um, the breathing again is quite quite accelerated. Um, as you can see this dot dash that originally is well, it's always had a large volume of white spots on it um, has really taken a dive for the worse. It's now not swimming around uh, hardly at all. I've got a feeling that I'll lose that tonight. Um, the regal Still no real change. Uh, you see a few extra, the eyes probably look a little bit milkier, but um, it's no worse than any other tang in it. The angelfish um, does act as a cleaner in the tank at times, as you just saw there. Um, because it's now so obviously not not um, going to get better on itself um, like it has done previously over the last two years whenever I've had a slight increase they seem to have um, got over it um, I've purchased um, this chemical here if you can see that there you go. it's expensive um, never used it before don't know if it'll do anything. Um, it's, it could quite honestly be uh, for me to make me feel better. Um, it looks like it's peroxide. Um, probably hydrogen peroxide. The ingredients aren't really very clear. Uh, but I know that other reef um, remedies I've used have been uh, completely useless. This is just a new one that's probably uh, not going to do much for me. Uh, this one little box treats two and a half hours a ga gallon, no, 2,500 2, litres. Um, you dose it twice a day, once before 10 a.m. and once after 10 p.m. Uh, ideally, you switch your UVs off for an hour after dosing um, and don't run carbon uh, skimmers fine to use which is a bonus because you want your skimmer running when as you can see that they're struggling to to get oxygen you don't want to upset that um, all I can say is it looks like the nightmare 
It's going to carry on till I lose fish. Um, as I said before, there is really no way of me quarantining these fish. Um, obviously, nobody else. Uh, the, the shops aren't uh, willing to risk their stock to quarantine them for you, obviously. Do I think this is the same white spot that I've had for the last two years? Who knows? You never know. It could have come in with this purple tank. Um, and why it's, and that's why it's blown up when it hasn't done for two years, I don't know. Um, but what I will say is they have shown signs of white spot for two years, which is why I didn't think it was so much of a risk adding this purple tank. And I had ad added fish before and not had this problem. So I'm either got to a point of saturation with fish and it's exploded, or it is indeed a slightly different strain. Um, and it's attacked the fish all the more. Who knows? Okay.